Hello, welcome to a new studio vlog. Quite a lot has happened since I last filmed. Not a lot of art really, more personal things. But I'll catch you up on that while I swatch some new art materials that arrived today. But first, let me show you what I'm currently working on. This is the reality of an art studio, by the way. Not tidy at all. Well, these boxes are my craft fair supplies, or products and things. Um, I have got a craft fair this Sunday, so I'll take you along with that and hopefully vlog some of it. My little Eli that's always up here with me. So, this is what I'm working on. It is a commission. And it's not looking like much at the moment, but it's an A3 forest scene. And they just want lots of really dark greens, some heather, and just for it to be really peaceful. So I'm going close up. So for this bit, I needed a dark indigo, which I've lost. So that's one of the pencils that arrived in today's order. So hopefully I can get that bit finished now. There's also some really nice dark greens that have arrived today as well. I'm really happy with how this bit is looking. I love this faded bit here that's off in the distance. I've got a long way to go, but I am really happy with how it's looking so far. One other thing I want to show you is my new greeting cards. So we've got, so these are all printed on recycled card. It's craft envelope and the bags are compostable. Trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. We've got my pheasant, Flutterby Monarch, the Magnolia. This was actually a card I painted for Mother's Day a few years ago, just for my mum. Um, and I really liked how it turned out, so with this new card order I decided to include it. And it's been quite popular. Uh, so we've got my purple bees, I think. Yeah. Purple bees. This was a sketch that I did in practice for my goldfinch piece, and lots of people really liked it, just the sketch. So I've turned that into a happy birthday card. Got the new forest foal. Oh, yeah, and here's the goldfinches. So that's what this sketch was an experiment for. But in the end, I went bit more realistic, less sketchy as such. Badger, song thrush, called that very licious. Kestrel, that's another older drawing, or painting actually. It's watercolour line and wash. My favourite, the hair, called Gaze. Darcy the donkey and the blue tip. I don't think I've seen the Christmas card. Just grab that. So, and the squirrel called Beatrice as a Christmas card. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Well, I'm really happy with all of them actually. And just one more that wasn't in that pile. My little mouse with rose hips. So these are the new art supplies that arrived, mainly just coloured pencils. I do have this precision cutter, so it's from Slice and it's ceramic blade and 
think I'm going to have to refocus. So, can you see that? So, it's literally that tiny white tip is the blade. So, that's compared to my other slice tool. But this one, so this one's really good. But I thought that this one would be good for all the really fine details like hairs and whiskers. And I think it would be really useful in the forest commission I'm doing as well. Although I have also got another um, supply coming and it's brush and pencil touch up texture, like a liquid. And there's also a white powder that basically makes liquid white coloured pencil. So I'll show you that when that arrives. So lots of pencils. These polychromos, they are just restocking the ones that, whoops, oh dear. Restocking the ones that I was low on. And where I got them from, which was Colt Pens, and this isn't sponsored, but they had a free for two. I think it was, or was it no? Buy free and get one, a fourth one free. So I did. And that stocked up all my shorter pencils. And then we had a few. So buff titanium, buff titanium, brown ochre and burnt ochre are the three luminance pencils that I've obviously used the most because uh, they're the lightest and I love the luminance for their lighter colours. They make really good base layers so they were getting really short about, one of them's down to about there. So needed new of those and then these four so I've ordered the luminance portrait set which I've been holding out to get but I couldn't wait any longer I just love having the full set of pencils maybe unnecessary but why not um, and these four are actually even newer colors than what we've got in here so that was a nice surprise. The listing for this actually said plus four new pencils, so or new colours. So we've got Dark Flesh 5%. I don't think I'm going to be able to pronounce this one, but I'll give it a go. Dark Pyphalokian Green. Really made a right hash of that name. Natural Russet. I really find it difficult to read these and dark flesh and so in here 20 new colours from Luminance they're so pretty so this is what I'm going to swatch these Luminance and the other four new colours So I'll get on with that. Okay, so I've written out all the names, made a few mistakes, which is probably going to bug me because I like it all neat, but, but never mind. Um, I just can't read where there's so little on here and where it goes round. But never mind. Um, so I've got my daylight lamp on, so hopefully the colours will show up right on screen. So we'll start with chromium oxide green. Luminance, they're just so soft and like creamy almost. So going back to what's been happening in my personal life. 
So for those of you that don't know me, I work in IT in a doctor's surgery. So, and I was actually an IT manager at one of the practices and I was just finding it just wasn't nice there anymore. Maybe it was just negative feelings that I was having and it was just affecting my work life well, and my home life. <laughs> I won't go into too much detail about it. Um, but basically I have moved from one doctor's to another doctor's. But I'm much happier where I am now so it's given me more headspace to be able to get back to my art which is what I've wanted all along but I need the proper job, well I shouldn't call it that should I, I need a day job just to help pay the bills and the mortgage and be able to renovate the house. Oh this one isn't quite as creamy as the other ones, it's a bit scratchy almost, it's not going on quite as smooth. I don't know, can you see? Yeah, so there's like it might just be something that's on the paper, probably grease from my hands where I pick this up all the time. So I really like having these swatch cards because you can, when you are looking for a particular colour you can hold this up against your picture and kind of like move it along and just see which is the right colour. So it's really useful and I highly recommend doing one of these cards for all of your coloured pencils. So anyway, where was I? Um, so yeah, I'm at a new practice now, it's much better. Um, and that's partly why I haven't really filmed many vlogs because I just haven't been really doing artwork. The first half of this year and the last half of 2020, um, it's hard to remember where we are now. I was working really hard to get 12 drawings completed ready for this year's calendar, 2021 calendar. So I had a goal and as soon as I hit the last drawing, although I only did 11 and I just included a landscape that I'd already done um, because I was running out of time to get them ordered in time for, well I was meant to have a an art show but unfortunately at, well it was a country fair but that got cancelled because of Covid but I wanted the calendars ready in time for that and as it happened it didn't matter but it was nice to get them done but as soon as I did have that last drawing done I basically just crashed and I just couldn't get back into art and I took that as that I needed to take a break from it all I mean I was still like I'd ordered my calendar and when they arrived I checked them all, packaged them. Um, oh and there was another fair, um, it was actually a 50th anniversary of a sailing club near where I live. So I was, because my dad works there, I was lucky to get a stall. Um, so that was really good fun. So I had all that to work towards but I just couldn't face doing any drawing. So that was right at the time when I was like handing in my notice, changing jobs and it, that was too much for me. I felt so guilty about leaving the other job. I know I shouldn't have done but I just can't help it. That's just who I am. So there was a lot of like I guess emotional turmoil for me at that time and I just yeah, burnt out pretty much. I did draw and you've maybe seen it if you follow me on social media. I've done an, a full coloured pencil landscape. It's only A5 size so only little but that's of a lighthouse again near where I live. Um, our local beach and I'm really happy with how that turned out and then I've produced prints of that and then I'm trying to remember when I kind of got back into art I think my art group started again at the end of September 
So I'd been in, maybe it was the, so I had a, an art exhibition with my art group. That was one of the other things that I was getting ready for while I wasn't drawing. And that went really well. And then it was probably, it was in September when I started again, got back into it. So only a two, I think three months, because I finished the last drawing in June. So yeah, three months it took to get out of this burnout, basically. But now I'm really enjoying it again. These two look very similar. One's just slightly darker than the other. Um, so yeah, now, so I've got a little drawing, personal drawing on the go of my puppy called Amber. So again, you'll have seen that on the progress of that on social media if you follow me. If you don't and you'd like to, I'm at Kate Bird Art on Instagram and Facebook. Actually, let me show you that now. So again, this is just a little A4, A5 piece of my puppy because I've drawn the, so we've got one four-year-old and one two-year-old and I drew the the older dog when he was a puppy for my other half's Christmas present one year although he didn't actually get it till his birthday because I didn't finish it in time but so that I'm drawing Amber as a puppy to match that I've got frames for both of them and then once Amber's drawing is done we'll put them up together This is another really like kind of I guess powdery pencil. Whereas like, all these ones are really smooth, but this and the old, I can't remember which one it was now. Chryso Collar Blue was really powdery and doesn't cover quite as well. I'm not doing very well at staying in a square. Never mind. I really like the look of this colour, Anthraquinone Carmine. Some of them I can pronounce. Oh, it's not quite as pinky as I thought it was going to be. This dark cadmium orange is a really good colour. Um, Polychromos have this colour and it's great for sort of bay coloured horses, ch um, chestnuts and sort of red, red fur coloured dogs. And that's really nice and bright. don't tend to use yellows quite as much, although I did in the landscape because it was a summery, summertime, uh, lots of greens and I, want, I enhanced all the yellows and put in some oranges and reds to make the greens more vibrant and just brighter and more summery. I haven't got that one to hand, although I would, so I'd show you. But I'll um, I'll put the image in on the video. I've got my art group tonight. Um, so all the pencils that you saw to the side of me, I've got to pack them up. Although I do um, I do keep them in pots so that I just carry the pots with me. So I keep the one the colours that I'm using have used in the pots and then I'll like box up the rest of them just in case I need those colours. So last one, pink white. I expect this will be nice as a base layer. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you see it just about? 
yeah that's a nice base layer <laughs> colour just going to see and it looks like it would be good highlight colour as well quite opaque Okay, so that's the portrait set swatched, and then we've just got the last four. So the last four. So dark flesh. Kind of seems like just a muddy, dirty brown, but that will definitely come in handy with certain fur colours. So then dark flesh 5%. So I'm trying to think back, remember if I've told you everything that's happened, but I'm not sure, I've probably missed lots out. And although it was really just the job that really happened, but that took a lot out of me. It was quite, it was such a huge decision. I didn't know whether I was making the right choice to go from one doctor's to another. Could I have made it better at where I was? Um, I don't think I could. And I just, I my it was eating into my personal life and I was just so like I wasn't being a nice person basically and poor Adam got the brunt of it and I just really didn't want to be there anymore so now I've written that one out that's the one I couldn't pronounce earlier but it's phalo cyanine green quite easy really but with it round in a circle like that. I just couldn't couldn't read it. I need my eyes testing and new glasses as well so that doesn't help. So that's it. One thing I do want to just try is um, see how this new slice tool works. So this is just the Luminance Colourless Blender. Um, so I just put that down Is it works well um, when you're using the slice tool. I don't really know why. I think just maybe because it fills in the tooth of the paper. If you put that down first, you get a much cleaner scrape, I suppose, with the slice tool. Let's see. I use, go for this dark green. Oh, you can see actually that, um, that would be quite a nice technique actually. So you can see the dark and then the light is where the um, colourless blender was. So, oh well. Right, Oof. might be enough. Let's see. So in theory it should just scrape. Oh yeah, that's really good. Can you see that? So yeah, I don't can tell that so it doesn't work quite as well just with one layer. And that is the trick to this, you've got to have quite a few layers to be able to build, to take away the colour. Uh, and it doesn't always work certain ways, but that's really good. I'm glad I've got that, it would be really useful. Here's the other slice tool. I'm not sure if this will show, but it's gives a much kind of oops thicker line you can't get quite as much precision there so yeah slice is a really handy tool so I'm going to get all my pencils packed up then we'll have our dinner and I'll go off to my art group this evening try and get some more of that forest commission finished it's craft fair day today so this is all the stuff I need to go and pack in my car, so let's get started. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting 
But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up, cause nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. So free, oh my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it's it. so well, always be by your side. What's up? Do you want to be packed? <laughs> Hi! You can't come, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just having one final check in my slightly less messy studio or anything that I've forgotten. I don't think I have. There's this box of jewellery, but I've had them such a long time that all the, all the chains have gone discoloured, so I'm going to have to sort them out and probably just, well, I could just sell them as pendants. So there's somebody walking past and dogs like to bark at them. Oh, okay, actually it's somebody outside in a van, so they're just being protective. Like little guard dogs. Like anybody's going to be scared of them. I think I've got everything. So my mum should be here soon. Hey, hey, Amber. Amber, look. Oh, good girl. Right. You're gonna come downstairs then. Careful. <laughs> Good, come on. Come on. Bye, doggies. I had to go and park in an industrial estate, so. Just trying to find my way back to the entrance. Ah, there we go, that looks right. I forgot to film any more at the craft fair, but to be honest, it wasn't that good, really. Um, probably one of the worst ones I've ever done, but it goes like that. You win some, you lose some. Just, I don't think it was advertised well enough. Um, people couldn't park as well because there was also a football match on at the same time, but never mind.
So now you're seeing Adam and I walking to the pub for dinner with the dogs. We took part in a sponsored walking challenge and we had to walk a hundred kilometers in the month with the dogs and we did do it although it was quite a challenge um, really underestimated how far we actually do walk and we reached our sponsor goal as well so that was brilliant it was raising money for bone cancer research That's it for this vlog. I know it's been quite a long one. I'm going to try and upload videos more regularly and keep them a bit shorter as well. There'll be another one coming soon so stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!